Hello everyone. We are at, back at the Doll Face Homestead. And I've been searching and scouring on Google Earth and I just found another one, maybe two more up off the creek. Um, this is going to be the start of episode eight. I just got a little signal there that looks like a jean button. Um, check this out. <clears throat> now we're back to digging all them crappy signals. Look at this jar, and it's got some liquid in there, but it's got the embossing on it, and Boy, I can't read it right now. Um, oh, look at that. It's still got the paper even in it. We might have to. It's Vaseline. And this thing is old. It says New York. Scar Scarborough, New York. Ho ho ho. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. boy, oh, boy. I've been so lucky, but I've been lucky because I'm digging that crap. And that's exactly what it takes. That little crappy signal leads to this. Spin around in the sun here and see if you can get a... Unreal. Alrighty, let's find some treasure. This is going to be a great day. We just got here and this is my second target. Welcome to episode 8. Okay, I'm right on the corner, literally, of this building. I thought I hit a coin. And it turns out... It's an old drawer pull. Um, that's that's pretty pretty cool. I don't see anything on it, man. I thought that was a coin. But I thought I'd throw that in. It's kind of cool. Alrighty. Okay. So I was just kind of milling around down here in the woods. The creek's down below there quite a ways. And I got the best signal of the day. Look at this. You know I love my suspender clips. Let's get in the sun. Extra heavy. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful thing. It is extra heavy, too. I thought that might be a coin, too. Absolutely gorgeous, huh? Unreal. Woo! All right. We're in a good spot. I'm going to go back to where I found that buckle here in a little bit. Um, I can't get that off my mind either. So 
I'll get a cool picture. Absolutely beautiful fall day, I'll tell you. Gorgeous. I just popped something out of here. And... I don't... Uh, the first thing that came to my mind was one of those arrowheads. Those ones they... But it's threaded. I don't have a clue. Could it be one of those metal arrowheads? I don't know. I don't know. I think it just got tore. I, I don't know. That's the first thing that came to my mind, though. But, another little relic. Okay. I wanted to get this on film. I thought it was a fence. But if you look, it's an old wooden flue to run water. See the V in the top? How neat is that? Goes on down. Huh. Very interesting. Have to detect down there. You know that they were putting this thing up. You never know. But I'm going to start heading back. Um, very cool. The wind is a howling. Look at that. I got something here. Semi live dig. Look at this. What do we have? It's absolutely beautiful. This is very hard. Uh, oh my goodness. This thing is freaking killer. Hang on a sec. I'll try to get this root out of here. This is... Oh my. This is a first for me, that's for sure. Look at this beauty. Sorry. Oh, wow. That is total 1800s belt buckle, I think. Unreal. Woo! Oh, so sweet. That is cool, cool, cool. Oh, I just, look how big it is. Oh, I love it. <laughs> well, I'm back up here. I found that little, that beautiful buckle right up there in the sunshine. I'm coming down the hill. Man, I tell you, you never know what you're going to find. Look at this piece of wood. It is an old, I believe, the tap, tap, tap communication um, thing. This is going to be fun to research. Isn't that just incredible? It's even got the wire still on it. Wow. <sighs> Wow.
They definitely didn't have telephones back then. That's all it can be. Amazing. That's a really cool piece. Huh. Have to research that one. We are almost... Oop, finger in the way. We're almost back to the truck. And I just got a shell casing signal. And look at this. I think it could be the end to an old cane. Um, look at the... Look at the end of it. If that is just really cool. I, it could be. I mean, I don't know what else it would be. Wow. Alrighty. Well, I'm down by the... I was working down by the creek. And heading back up to that homestead. And look at this. Can you see that? Oh my God, I got a coin. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's awful green. It kind of looks... Uh, it kind of looks like a V-nickel. Um, I don't know yet. I, I just don't have a clue. Is that, Are those stars? Um, it might be a V-nickel. can't see a I'll get it cleaned up and uh, get you a better picture of it but how cool is this that's got to be 1800s I don't I would die if that's another um, shield nickel but I think I saw stars around the edge right here which would make it a V nickel. I think that's. I don't know. I'll get it cleaned up and get back to you. But wow, how cool! You might be able to see something on there. I do, I just don't know. Very cool. All right. I haven't rechecked the hole. Maybe there's another one. Sweet! Well, I came up here in the light. And it is a V-nickel. And it is 18... 89, 99. <laughs> How cool is that? I can't wait to get this thing cleaned up. Oh, sweet. This would turn... There's... You can barely see the V. I didn't work on the backside, but... Nice! Alrighty, then. Well, I'm just working through here. Found three clock gears. I found that cute little discussion off a. Of, check this out. It's a surface find. It says, President, my favorite suspender clip. And it says on the back. 1892 made by Shirley this thing is beautiful in great great shape can you see it wow we're just milling around down here the cabins up there about oh 60 70 yards and uh, I found that other heavy duty suspender clip right up in here so there's got to be two more here somewhere 
All right. Let's find some more. Well, there's the old cabin. We're back at the doll face site today. Um, it's October 1st. And look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. That made my whole day right there. Um, unreal. Unreal beautiful. It's probably off a of bridal rosette, I imagine. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Beautiful. Let's find some more goodies. Well, I'm kind of still in the same area below that old cabin. I just got a dandy. One of my favorite things, actually. Look at that. It's a clock winder. Still got gold on it. Sometimes these have a date on them. We'll get her cleaned up and see, but isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. That's what this is all about right here. Pulling that history out of the ground. Wow. Beautiful. It's really gold. Alrighty. Okay, everyone. I'm in the clock zone. I found... The back to this, look at the gold still on it. This is a clock um, plate where all the gears and stuff would mount. I've never seen one with this much gold gilt left on it. But next to that, look at that. This is a winder, and I already found a winder. So I am thinking we got two clocks here. We got a mantle clock. Um, I, I, I really don't know. We just got to keep digging stuff up. But isn't that gorgeous? Look at that thing. Wow, what a great day. Fun stuff. Unreal. All right. Let's find some more clock. It's a clock day, I guess. Okay. Looks like she's complete. Almost. There's the back. And there's the face. And you need the hand. Little mantle clock. Isn't that something? Very cool. Can't believe the gold still left on that. All right, let's find some more. Well, I'm down here in the pucker brush, right in this hole. I just landed this. It looks like another knob of some kind, huh? I just had to show you that because, God, that thing rang up good. It was right next to this V-nickel, and I thought I had another coin. But uh, very different. 1800s coolness. See what it says if I get her cleaned up. All righty. Another beautiful day. September 4th. I just found something different. I don't know what it is, but it's geared on the back and it adjusts. Isn't that something? Pretty ornate. That's a keeper. I don't have a clue what it is, but some kind of adjustable hinge. 
I don't know, total 1800s. Cool. Well, I'm back where I found that buckle. Check this out. Looks like the old timers rolled up a can of sardines. <laughs> oh, funny. That's a pretty cool relic, actually. That's the old sardine can rolled up. Sweet. You might be able to see that other cabin down in there. It's right below that overhanging tree. And I'm working this steep hillside, hoping the kids might be sledding or something and lost a button. And look what I just found. Absolutely beautiful garter clip. That bad boy's old. I think these are velvet grip. I'm not sure, but that's 1800s all day long. Sweet, right underneath this tree. All right, I'll get a pick. Look at the size of that cabin. God, that thing's huge. Well, I'm right down below it. Look at this beauty. That's an oldie. That's uh, a suspender clip, my favorite. I don't know if it has any writing on it or anything. That's an old one, though. 1880, probably. Very cool. Another different one for the, about the 200th one I've dug. Sweet. Yeah, I'm right below this cabin. This is nothing special, but it's a shell casing. But look, they put another one in another one again. I don't know if that was the thing back then. I, I, it's pretty cool, though. That's a keeper. Just thinking somebody messing around after firing. They could have used it for a little storage compartment for something. I don't know. Very cool though. Man, what a beautiful place they had here. Hey, I just found something. Check this out. It was right there. Look at this. This has got to be like the first zipper ever made. That thing is so cool. Look at that. I, I just love it. It's off an old boot. I wonder if it's got any writing on it. This, this is going to be fun to date. Huh. Very cool. Hello. I'm just heading out. This is the road across the stream. My truck is right up that ramp up there. I'm just walking through. There's the old building to start with. And I just thought I'd go through this little field here. I just got silver and it's old. I'm just shaking. Um, can you see it? Uh, oh my God, there's another one with it. Uh, I didn't even see that one. What are you? It's some kind of... That might be a... A token. But this is... Definitely, you can see the one dime. And I'm going to guess, I would die if this is seeded. Um, let's go down here to the creek.
and uh, wash this thing. I It's probably going to be, I'm guessing, a barber, but if it's seated, oh boy. Oh boy. I ran up here for a couple hours. Because I lost my sunglasses. God, that stuff is cold already. Let's see what we got here. There's the one dime side. What do we have? It's seated. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh my. Do you know how many times I've walked through here? Oh, it is seated. This is my second one. Oh, at these home sites, I cannot even believe this. Let's get out of here in the sun. I'm dragging on, I know, but I'm telling you. This is, this is um, the coolest thing ever for me. She's right there. I don't know if you can see the date. I can't yet. Seated Liberty Dime. How unreal. And I can't see a mint mark yet either. I'll have to get it cleaned up. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. And it looks like it's a spill. That's going in the special pocket. This. I don't have a clue. It's already rusty. Um... Let's go clean this one up too, huh? It's got some gook on it. Wow. <clears throat> Could this be a coin? This... Oh my... If this is like a, it's too big for a nickel, I can't, I think it's a token. I believe it's a token. I'll get some better pictures and get this cleaned up. I was just on my way out. I'm going to recheck the hole. Oh, lovely. Okay, I'll get back to you. Hello, everyone. As you can see, it's starting to snow. It's cold. Hey, I came back up for a couple hours after finding them coins. Um, look at this. It's part of an old hair comb. How cool is that? Never found one. Isn't that cool? I just dug a <clears throat> old iron buckle and I just thought I'd show this because I've never dug one. It's kind of cool. 
Anyway, hopefully we'll find something here. Moving on. Hello, everyone. Well, it's the last hurrah. As you can see, there's some snow. Um, we're supposed to get a foot up here tomorrow, so I ran up for a couple hours. I walked the creek down through this thick stuff and found another building. And I just found something very cool. <clears throat> it looks like a hinge off a old jewelry box. Isn't that neat? So we'll throw that one in the collection. That's kind of cool. Anyway, we'll hopefully we'll find something before the snow comes, so. The wind is howling, blowing that storm in. Look at some of them trees going back and forth. I just got the back to a pocket or the pocket watch. It's got a little gold left right on there, which is kind of cool. Anyway, I'm just walking out. Hopefully it's got a maker's mark on it. Very cool. Hello everyone. Well, this is going to wrap up episode 8 and probably this season. Um, we got a little snow on the ground up here today. And they're calling for like a foot or more this weekend, which is going to shut this down way up high. You can kind of see maybe it's sputtering right now. I'm going to swing my way out of here. And I want to thank you all for watching. Um, I got quite a few videos out this year. And this winter we'll be doing some research and more. I got three little towns that are a mile hike in. For next spring and about four buildings but we'll uh, look for some more this winter get them all mapped and logged and look forward for another adventure I just absolutely hate this ending um, this is my favorite thing to do as you know anyway I wish you all well get through this virus and all that crap um, and maybe we can get back to some normal way of life. I'm fortunate that I live where I live. Um, so anyway, I want to thank you all again for watching. Shout out to my family. Um, take care, everyone.